spent January uh, touring up through British Columbia and, uh, and the state of Washington with Jen <coughs> and Susan Lewis, Rebel Voices. They're so much fun. And they sang this jewel of a song, which they don't have recorded, but I will soon. It's from a woman whose name is Joan Hill, really. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and I'm interested in putting together a cultural workers SWAT team to go around the country singing out for single payer, going to swing congressional oh, districts. Right. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to fund that project, but I'm, I'm in touch with a bunch of the national organizations, fill up big uh, you know, university auditoriums and churches and so on, and uh, give local single-payer organizers a chance to yeah. sign people up and talk a little bit about the issues. But if we had any money, we'd fund that already. I know you would. <laughs> All right. This will be another polka, just like the corporate welfare polka, once I can play it and sing it at the same time. We're nursing as fast as we can. We're running with bandages and bedpans. All the patients, they are sicker, and the discharges are quicker, and the reasons they are slicker why they can't afford more nurses who are nursing as fast as we can. And more cuts in nursing are planned. All the loads don't get lighter, and the staffing is tighter, and we're nursing as fast as we can. Your anxiety is legitimate, I'll grant. You've just been admitted for a liver transplant. You see the nurses scurry, everybody's in a hurry, and you've just begun to worry that we won't have time for you. Our time is limited, you must understand. We can't do right by you within our budget. Your insurance plan is tight, so you can't even spend the night. We'll send you home to, just to do the best you can. And meanwhile, we're nursing as fast as we can. We're running with bandages and bedpans. All the re patients, they are sicker, and the discharges are quicker, and the reasons they are slicker, why they can't afford more nurses who are nursing as fast as we can. And more cuts in nursing are planned. Though the schedule's obnoxious and the pace is preposterous, we're nursing as fast as we can. I feel I must apologize to you. You messed yourself and had to lie and doo-doo. But I was very busy, I was running in a tizzy, and I over-optimistically thought I'd get back to you, but I had seven other patients, too. And one of them was bleeding in his pillow. When priorities were reckoned, it was you who came in second, and first was all that I had time to do. Because we're nursing as fast as we can. We're running with bandages and bedpans. Oh, the patients, they are sicker, and the discharges are quicker, and the reasons they are slicker, why they can't afford more nurses who are nursing as fast as we can. And more cuts in nursing are planned. <coughs> Though infections are spreading and mistakes we are dreading, we're nursing as fast as we can. We worry for our patients, yes we do. They come to us much sicker than they used to. We know they need trained nurses, but the bosses watch their purses when it's patient safety versus profit. We know what they'll do. Nurses who are registered must go. They hire nurses' aides because they are cheaper. They should know for patient's sake that this could be a grave mistake, but it's a chance they'll take to save a little dough. Meanwhile, we're nursing as fast as we can. We're running with bandages and bedpans. And what's in them is stinking, just like management's thinking. As our standards, they are sinking, and the risks we take are rising, like the salaries for those at the top. This misallocation must stop. Our superfluous superiors sit on their posteriors in the comfy interiors of their offices and lounges as we're nursing as fast as we can. We must find a way to demand, we demand that the patients won't be dying because the corporation's trying to cut nursing as fast as they can. And now add, and single payers, the only real plan. Yes. <laughs>